local friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 22nd, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do. Having a look again at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes. Last 48 hours on our sun, we still have that large sunspot that is incoming, turning into an earth-facing position. Looking at the last 48 hours, closer look at that region. Large plasma filament to the east of it and a coronal hole developing just south of it, of this large sunspot. Another quick look here. Plasma filament ejecting away. Some ropes on the surface of our sun right now. As today we were elevated to a KP6 space weather large plasma filament took away here with a coronal mass ejection in the outgoing position but large plasma rope there having a look at multi-spectrum pretty active on all corners right now as this sunspot that is turning in right now has been very active. We've seen many backside eruptions over the last little while. And that is from this large sunspot. So heads up everybody, incoming. And look to the south of it here, large coronal hole developing. Black regions right here. Having a look at Lasco 2, this is the last 24 hours of imagery showing that CME off the northeastern limb of our sun, as well as showing it here on the ISWA space prediction spiral. And look at that long pink stream. That is the solar stream from the sunspot that is incoming now. Looking at our solar X-ray flux in B range right now, geomagnetic activity has come down since being up to KP6. And that is why we will be seeing some northern lights tonight. Probability up into the 50-60% chance through parts of northern Ontario and western Canada. But definitely up through the northwest territories in Alaska. Real-time solar wind, 521 kilometers per second. But it's been pretty sporadic throughout the day and fast. Fastest temperatures recorded here are 590 kilometers per second last 24 hours have a quick look at a diagram here to see how our earth is taking it for pressure looking at schumann resonance for today a power of 10 slightly elevated from yesterday power of 6.4 quality amplitude of 10 now let's have a look at earthquakes here for the past 24 hours. Pretty busy, peppered planet right now. It looks like a, little, a pin cushion, but it started out the day here with a large 6.0 in Abrapampa, Argentina, at a deep 242 kilometer depth. That was early this morning as well, 4.5 there, Chile, Orcapampa, Peru, 4.1, and as well, Maropi. Peru 4.4 so active South American plate Central American into the Caribbean plate minor activity Guatemala reporting a 4.3 activity increasing here in Medford Oklahoma as they saw 3.3 followed by 2.9 2.5 there in Crowder as well White City New Mexico minor activity and up into Northern California here, or sorry, Nevada 3.0, as well, Austin. But pretty quiet across the North American plate. Minor activity being reported north of Yellowstone. Nothing to really talk about, though. Into Alaska here, Central Alaska 3.1, largest in the region 4.8, but another 4.0 here in Nikolsky. Minor activity here, Pahala, Hawaii. 2.9, a largest through the region, 
but we had an active lava lake today looking at the infrared imagery as you can see the cone on the right hand side bottom did have quite an eruption and is spilling into the active pool just south of it kind of calm down here through japan only seeing katsura japan and as well nami 4.6 and 4.2 4.6 here southern king high china and as well westward bandar abbas iran as well just recently uh, owens fracture owen fracture zone 4.1 iceland reporting a 5.0 earthquake today right in the center of iceland As well, Indonesia is a rocking today. Timor Leste, Retung, and as well, Hai Hai Fo, Tonga with a 5.5, 159 kilometer depth. So the deepest earthquake today was the Argentina earthquake, largest being the 6.3 Bellany Islands, and that was reported yesterday. Having a quick look here at the last seven days across the world for activity. Definitely starting to spread out with the activity and as well release some pressure through South America. But this was kind of a surprise this morning with the 6.2 in Argentina. Pacific plate is active. Quick look over Africa. And just recently again, 4.1 there, Owen fracture, Owen fracture zone, Somalia plate into the Arabian plate. Now let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery. We've got quite a few storms whipping through the United States tonight, central and northeastern US, a lot of flood alerts as well. Beardstown, Illinois, Kentucky, Missouri, Alabama, Arkansas, and just recently tornado warnings popping up through New Orleans. And that will be tracking northeastward quickly. So heads up tonight and stay safe. Winter storms all behind this with a very cold deep freeze moving in from the north. Tornado warnings there, Huntsville. Most recent volcanoes to update, Nevadas de Ruas, Simaru, Talika, and Nicaragua. Sabancaya in Peru. Fuego, Guatemala. Look at all these flood alerts, guys. 113 active alerts with the Pacific Disaster Center. Reventador, Swiss and Ajima, and as well, Itni, Etna in Italy, <laughs> which erupted overnight and today having a quick look here at the last 24 hours time lapse as you can see early afternoon there was an eruption very sizable eruption sending tons of ash and debris into the skies over italy as well you can see the lava streams pouring down the mountain here Amazing images coming from Mount Etna as it erupted today, February 2nd, 2022. Also wanted to share some intense weather that is heading into Ireland, the United Kingdom, parts of Northern Europe. Big system here, strong winds, which I've been talking about the last couple of days. But also coupled with these strong winds, of course, we're going to have very large waves as well. So I wanted to share you here. This is brought to you by Venture Sky. Showing here the predicted models for wave height. And you can see there in the middle that dark red. That is 12.7 meters projected. And it looks like it's going to be 10 meters. 10 meter waves coming into parts of Ireland and northern United Kingdom. So you have definitely an extreme weather event heading towards you and through northern Europe up into Finland and Sweden. And the same thing is happening in the Pacific Ocean. Looking at projected models here, very big system developing in the West Pacific, reporting 
meter waves in the beginning, but then thinning out throughout the week here as the system grows and moves eastward towards Alaska. So jet stream dipping right down with the deep freeze that's coming on. And that's why we're getting the extreme weather through the United States. Looking here, forecast models for Ontario. As this low moves northeastward, slowly but surely. So the rain is done, but there we will have another system heading in. Alberta Clipper. And as well, a Colorado low here. Coming this week for parts of the northeastern United States, Atlantic provinces. And then watch into next Tuesday as well. We could have a very big system developing over the Ontario, heading into Atlantic provinces yet again. So intense low coming out of Central West United States and as well Pacific Low coming into Washington and Oregon. Stay tuned to the daily forecast as they do change. Looking around the world, we still have remnants of tropical cyclone over Madagascar as well. Long range forecast here showing a couple more forming in behind that following the same path. Looking around the world, not much has changed since last night's forecast. Again, stay tuned to daily events worldwide for the latest updates and alerts. But heads up, lots of daily evaporation rains developing through Indonesia, Malaysia, and possible tropical storms for northern Australia in the long range. Thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.